Hello, my name is Krisha, I'm 21 years old, and today I'm going to show you how I do a concealer job, a CJ, <laughs> which, um, <laughs> it's the easiest way to get a fast look. I do concealer jobs when I literally only have like 10 minutes to do my makeup. I have done the 10 minute makeup challenge, as you guys saw, or the seven and a half minute, I think, but this one, I'm going to take my time and explain it to you, but you could really do this in like five minutes. So let's get started. So I have this timer on so that you guys can really see how long this is going to take. I'm sorry that it's going to be a little blurry. So now to get started, I'm going to start by priming my face as usual with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Filling Primer. I really do love this primer and I am going through it, which I am really happy about. Grips onto your makeup. You don't have to use that much to get the result you need. I also put chapstick on my lips. I don't, some people consider like chapstick lip primer. And obviously this makeup is, would go faster if I wasn't talking. So that's my opinion on that. But I am gonna try to talk as little as possible to get my point across, but hurry on out with the stuff. So now I am going to take the e.l.f. Uh, Hydrating Camo Concealer in Fair Beige. Um, and this I'm going to put over blemishes. Now the one thing that um, all of the makeup artists, notice how I'm not saying beauty gurus, makeup artists say on YouTube that you don't have to put on that much, that makeup spreads. So I am putting a little dab on blemishes, but I'm only putting a little bit on my actual face and then just a little bit on the center of the, I'm just getting the excess off the wand. This looks like a lot, but it isn't. And then I'm going to just maybe a little more. And then I'm just going to leave that for a second to just like dry down a little bit while I pick out a brush. I have this It Cosmetics brush. And the reason why I want to use this is because it's really, really fluffy and not super. Actually, no, I'm just going to use, I'm just going to use a sponge for this. And now I'm going to go take that sponge now that it's had a moment to dry and gently pat the product all around oh i should have used the brush but you know what whatever and i am going to use eyeshadow primer over my eyes because i really like using eyeshadow primer um over my eyes it just it works better for me than concealer but obviously if you like using concealer over your eyes then use that and really just blending this all out. You know what, I should have used a brush. You know what, whatever. This looks great. And the e.l.f. concealers are like full coverage concealers, but I'm pretty sure with a lighter concealer you can do this exact same thing. I know most people actually just do their makeup like this. I'm just getting my powder ready. And so I'm going to take the e.l.f. Uh, 16 hour camo concealer, the original, this is in light peach and this one i'm just using for lightening obviously you don't have to do this and see i'm only putting on the tiniest bit for lightening i don't want a lot on my face at all again give this a minute i'm going to take my um setting spray and just do a quick spritz of that just to like get the uh formula into the skin and now again with our sponge we get, gave it a minute to just sit on the face. Just gonna blend it out. Just a little bit. And obviously, if you need more coverage in certain areas, then like go for it, give yourself that coverage. And then with the excess on the sponge, I'm just gonna go on my brow bone just to get that coated in some concealer because sometimes the eyeshadow base doesn't reach. So now before I use eyeshadow primer on my lids, I'm gonna look at my whole face, see how I like it. And then I'm gonna take P. Louise base. If you don't wanna use an eyeshadow base, use literally whatever you want. And literally this is like the size of like, a, like half a pea, like a lentil sized amount, cause you don't need a lot. And I'm gonna coat my, eyelids in this 
And I know like all the beauty gurus and the makeup artists say you're not supposed to set eyeshadow base before you work with it, but I don't really care. So I'm just gonna tap this out very gently. This eye has been giving me a lot of trouble with dryness. So I'm gonna be very careful with this eye. And so I'm gonna tap out all the creases. And now I'm going to take the other side of this sponge and I'm going to powder my whole face. And I think people don't understand, I guess, normal baking. Like drag queens need to load their faces up in powder because they have like 17 layers of powder on their face. When, if you set your makeup with a sponge and you have that excess on your face, that little bit of excess, that's your bake. Like that is more than enough for what you want slash need. So obviously I look a little crusty because I'm baking, but um, this is pretty much it. Now I'm going to just continue on with the face. I'm going to do my eyebrows, like my eyeshadow off camera, and then I'll come back to like finish up the cheeks and all of that stuff, so. I finished my brows, so I'm wiping off the excess bake. I'm going to do a spray of Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. So we're back, I finished my eyes. I used uh, the bronzer I'm going to use as eyeshadow and I just did mascara. So now we're gonna finish up the face. I'm going to take the uh, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm just going to bronze up the skin just a little bit. Like, I don't want anything crazy. I just want the tiniest bit of warmth to the face. Like, this is just one dunkaroo and I'm just going to quickly just blend it out. I don't want too much of anything. I just want the color to lightly be on the face. Again, this is fast work we're doing. I'm actually gonna go in with a really big fluffy brush and just blend it even more. My kind of, my strategy really for um, doing my makeup is kind of like just slap it and go. Then for blush, I'm going to use the ColourPop Pressed Pan Blush in Why Hello. I'm gonna load it up and then blush though, recently I've discovered you can't put on too much blush. So now for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, Glow Powder. I don't even remember what it's called, dude. In the shade Do Me. I'm going to just lightly put this all over, pretty much all over my face. I just wanna bring back the appearance that my skin, you know, is skin. And also, I'm filming a really big video for school today, so I wanna look good, gorgeous. I love that I basically put highlighter all over my face. And now I'm gonna load my face up with Sangspray. And yeah, this is it. This is my finished quote unquote concealer job. This look is still really natural. It's snatural. It's literally just something to throw together. It took 11 and a half minutes. I didn't, of course I didn't record and I didn't time me doing my eyes and my brows, but I can't imagine that taking more than like a couple minutes. So 15 minutes, this took 15 minutes to do. Um, honestly, if I wasn't talking and I wasn't relaxing, it would have gone faster. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys like me, please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for post notifications. I post every Monday, hopefully, at 2.30 p.m. EST. So yeah, thank you so much. Bye-bye.